Alright, at this point, I'm not even sure what I'm getting into for this episode. Turns out like nine months ago, I was looking through all the old ROM hacks I've downloaded, a bunch of which I haven't even played yet, and there was this mysterious food.zip folder. I still know who it's from. It's from Alcaro. This was never legitimately submitted to Super Mario World Central. I'm guessing it's some sort of bizarre hack that's definitely not normal by most standards. I'm going to show you the contents of the food folder. Yeah. This is it. Food. A bunch of ASM files. The patch that I've already applied to the ROM file. And this table, this ASCII and SMW table. Because, yeah, they know how important this is. I'm not even sure what this does. It's just a table. There's no sort of explanation as to what it is. And it's been nine months, so I pretty much completely forgot what this was. I couldn't even find the forum post Alcaro may have may, may or may not have made talking about this food.zip folder. I guess the only way to figure out what it is is to play it for ourselves. So, now begins... Food.zip. What is this? Well, so far it doesn't look like it's gonna be any good. <laughs> Especially since you died in the intro. Oh, and this was made before the internet. Before computers, as a matter of fact. Look at the date on the bottom of the screen. 1690 to 1691. So, apparently 300 years ago, Nintendo decided to make Super Om Nom Nom World. <laughs> Welcome to Muncher Kingdom in this strange land. We find that the Muncher Prince is missing again. Looks like Mario is at it again? Oh, so is Mario the antagonist once again? Well, technically not the antagonist, but is he like the evil person in this? <laughs> Eaton House. Eaton Island 1, Eaton Island 2. I don't know what the context behind food.zip, this ROM hack is. I don't even know what the name is. Maybe it's Super Om Nom Nom? Eaton House. <laughs> uh, oh man. <laughs> Message box kills you. Okay, Lisa. Nope, never mind. You still die. And time up. Eaton Island 1. It's pretty obvious that, that this is some sort of joke hack by standards. Wait, what the? Okay, let me die again and re-enter the level. What happened? Eaton Island How did he do this? How did he do this? The level changes at random every time you enter it! The level is never the same! Clip there, you're gonna take a hit for sure. The level always changes! Did Alcaro try to do something new, but didn't really figure it out just yet? Did Alcaro try to do some sort of random level generator? But it looks like he did! Except the results aren't desirable at all. Maybe if he puts a bit more work into this, this could be like amazing. This could be a breakthrough in Super Mario hacking. This is pretty hilarious! And everything is junk, but still. I was not expecting the levels to change. I was not expecting to get random levels. Except I think this part is impossible. Yeah. What is Eaton Island 2 supposed to be like? Yeah, good luck trying to beat this. Okay, this one doesn't seem to change. <laughs> A muncher coin! But wait, how do I do this one then? Do we scroll the screen, hope the mushroom comes back and... I don't know. Maybe I need to do this level and get lucky? So I can... Well, that's definitely not lucky, considering I started and died. That's definitely not lucky. These levels are literally generated at random! I don't even know how he did it! This has got This would be some sort of breakthrough if the results were actually desirable and playable. 
if it wasn't just a bunch of junk tiles completely assigned at random. If this wasn't just junk tiles, this would actually be a huge accomplishment. Well, it's on its way. Most of these setups are actually impossible to complete. I still gotta wonder how he managed to pull something like this off. It's a pretty big question. It's a pretty interesting question, really. Okay, that's a thwomp, apparently. What am I supposed to get hit here? Does this message box do anything? I want to see what this says. Chocolate rain some, stay dry, and others feel the pinch. Oaklet rain a baby. Born will die beef. Or the Sid Chocolat. Terrain the school. Looks say it can't. Okay. Now, no, okay, now I'm thinking Tay's on there again. Okay, now what am I supposed to do here? I just can't believe that the level will always be different every time you enter it. That was probably the last thing I was expecting any ROM hack to do. Levels of change! A bunch of these setups often end up being impossible, sadly. So I guess this didn't quite get past the development stage as a result. However, it's really interesting to show this to you guys. Thankfully, we got all these random midway tapes placed all over the place, so they pretty much just give you free hits. You can only get one at a time. You can't have them stack up and be cumulative, but still, that's really helpful. Is that message box gonna say the same thing as. Never gonna give you. Ooh, up! Uh, never gonna. Let you down, never. Gonna run around, ah. Mm, desert you, never gonna make you cry. Why? Never gonna say goodbye, never gonna. And now Rick Astley lyrics. Okay, now how do I do this? Running boost! Ah, oh, I was on the block. There we go! What is the S for? What is the S for? Oh! Oh! I know what that S is for now! This is the screen number that you're on! So I'm on, I've traveled like 14 screens already. After a while, that 14 is going to change to 15. This pretty much just tells you how many screens you've traveled in the level. I wonder if the point of this is to actually try and travel the most screens of randomly generated territory! Or randomly generated terrain would be a better term, I guess. Is the goal of this to travel for as long as you can? Or... I can't imagine you can do this forever, there's a timer. I just realized there's a timer! I've been so distracted by the fact that this is completely different from everything else I've ever seen up to this point, that there was a timer! Okay, but what's the maximum number of screens a level could be, anyway? Wasn't it 32? I thought it was 20 for a second. Oh. Oh, they counted hex. Silly me. I think 32 is the maximum number of screens you can go. Can we make it to the 32? I wonder. Yeah, 1F and 1F and hex, counting from or starting from zero. Yeah, I think that roughly counts. I think that roughly ends up being 32. As a number of screens you can travel. I'm really curious now. Ah, death. Fuck. I want to get the 32 screens. I'm gonna have to save state and everything. I wish I could take my time and go my own pace, but there's this timer. I'm not even sure what to say here. Now get down, get down! 31, 32, so are we almost done this thing? Because we can't go any further. Yes, that is it. 32 screens. 
this is actually kind of fun. You never know what you're gonna have to face next. Though it looks like complete junk, and what is Mario doing? Where the hell is it? Oh, I somehow end up here. Okay, now I may be actually able to do this. Okay, is this actually possible? Maybe this level is possible after all. I just did something wrong. Wait, do you have to do some sort of a... You have, you have to glitch your way through here, I'm sure of it, but... These monsters are gonna hurt you, so... This is gonna be pretty tough to do. Well, I assume you need the feather to get through here. This is some super gimmicky hack doing things that we never even thought were possible. Turning glitches into actual gimmicks? Could this be what I'm thinking it is? Well, let's die. I don't think I was expecting to play a hack full of glitches that actually used them to make gimmicks. I wonder how this part's even going. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute! I scroll the screen! What the hell was I thinking? I scroll the screen. Gotta get invincible here. Slide under, spin jump down. Yes, this is definitely doable. Now I'm actually starting to understand the point of this. I just lost my cape! Wait, I gotta get to be invincible while I'm down there, too, it seems. That works! So is this like Kaizo ish? Is this like Kaizo ish stuff here? Oh, we need the feather, or, or do we need it? Do we need the feather? Okay, what happens if you try and fly up here? You clearly can't. I'm not even sure what to do here. Do we need to scroll the screen or something like that? I can't seem to save the feather, despite the fact we may actually need this thing. Okay, there's a feather up there. This... So I think I'm on the right track now. There's actually a feather up there. So yeah, food.zip. That feather's gonna come down. I'm gonna have to grab it. At least I think I'm doing everything correctly. So this is some sort of puzzle level. By the looks of it. Wait, do we need a switch? By the looks of it, we do. Let's get the switch! Okay, we better get rid of this thing. Let's go up here! We need the switch. We got the switch! Now once we hit the switch, we should be able to... Are we gonna have to race against that shell? I think so. Doesn't even look like a race against a shell. Now I have to wait for this power switch. Sure. Okay, what does this do? Oh, coin trail. Alright, what am I supposed to do here? Wait, did I need that shell or something? 